In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to add full authentication to your Laravel application. So in Laravel 5.2, it has changed up a little bit. So we're just going to go over the whole thing from creating a new Laravel app to adding the full authentication. So the first step we'll want to do is create a new Laravel app. So we want to open up terminal or a command prompt and type in Laravel new and then the folder that we want to install this new Laravel app in. So I will just call this auth. And once that has been created, I can go ahead and CD into that auth folder and I can run the PHP artisan serve command and then I can go to localhost 8000 and sure enough we have a blank Laravel application running. So let's go ahead and go back to our command prompt and let's clear this out and we will want to use our artisan command to make our auth. So we will want to run PHP artisan make auth. And this will add a bunch of files that we need for our full authentication, install some view files, uh, some controllers, and some models, and just all the necessary files that we need for our authentication in our Laravel app. So the next step we will want to do is create a new database. So I'm using SQL Pro, and I can just go up here to add a new database, and I'm just going to call this new database auth. And then I will need to open up these files in my favorite text editor and I am using sublime text and in case someone is going to ask uh, what the theme that I'm using for sublime text I'm using the material theme so you could simply google material theme for sublime text and you'll be able to find this theme so then I will need to go to my env file and I will need to add in my database credentials so my database that I created is just called auth and my username and password is root so I will save that and if I go back in here into my app, HTTP, and my routes.php file, you'll see that we have this new route auth and route get. So we have all of these new routes that we need for our authentication. So let's go ahead and run our PHP artisan serve again. And let's go back to that localhost 8000 and reload the page. And you'll see that we have a new home page in front of us. And this is a, a bootstrap version of a simple login, register, and home page. So let's go ahead and test this out and click on register. I'll just say John Doe, John Doe at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and enter all this in. And it's saying that table auth.users does not exist. And this is because we don't have any tables inside of our database just yet. So we will need to go ahead and run another artisan command. Uh, we'll need to run our migrations. So PHP artisan migrate. And after that has completed, now if I refresh my database, you can see that we now have tables inside of our database. So let's go ahead and run this PHP artisan serve and go back to the home page and then click on register again. So we'll say John Doe johndo at gmail.com and we will register for a new account and now you can see that it just redirects us back to the home page okay now if we try and click on login you can see that nothing seems to be happening so we click on login or register we just registered for a new account but nothing seems to be happening just yet but let's go ahead and try this home button so if we click on home then yeah sure enough we can see that John Doe is logged in but see if we go back to this home directory, we still just have the login and the register buttons and we can't do anything. And this is because we already are logged in uh, and we can't access the login or the register page. And the reason why we're not showing that we are not logged in is because if we go back to our routes.php file, you'll see this new middleware group called web. And inside of this middleware group web, we have all of our session that can be stored, uh, all the things that we need for authentication. And typically we are going to add all of our web routes into this group. So you can see that this homepage route right here is not inside of that middleware group. So let's go ahead and copy that and paste that in. And we can remove this additional web middleware right there. Let's go ahead and go back to our localhost 8000 and reload the page. And now you can see that we have our user John Doe we can then click on the logout if we want. And now we have the login and register. And now the app is going to function like we had expected. So if I do this, John Doe at gmail.com, put in my password, 
then sure enough, we have our John Doe name appear and it looks like that we are logged in. We can access the home route and we get a message saying that we are logged in. And if I do go back to my database, you can see here in the users table, we do have a new user, John Doe at gmail.com. So you can see just how quick that is that we can set up a full authentication in our Laravel application. And uh, it just makes it super easy, super fun to work with. And now we can start creating our awesome app.